Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we continue learning about how can you solving quadrat uh, equation by factorization. Um, in this question, you will have a question one and question two. Okay, in the last video, I tell you you should uh, do two steps for solving equation by factorization. One, you factorizing, and two, you solve each bracket. Okay. So example one for this form, I will factorizing first. Factorizing a square minus two x plus six x minus twelve equal to zero. Okay. So you will see here the first term and the second term have the common factor. I will separate x square equal to x multiply x and two x in here. How about the next two term? You got 6 multiply x and 12, you will write out 6 multiply 2. Okay, first two terms you will have the uh, x is a common factor, take it outside and x minus 2 is inside the bracket. The next one you got 6 here and x negative 2 equal to 0. So you have uh, the common factor is x negative 2 so i will take x negative 2 outside the bracket and the left will be the second bracket x plus 6 equal to 0 so you will have here two bracket multiplied together equal to 0 so this is a factorizing form and you want to solve this equation you put x bracket equal to 0 the first one and the second one and the first single bracket, you got x equal to 2, and the next one, x equal to negative 6. Okay, first solution, second solution. The same thing for the question 2, you got x multiply x, 5x, 3 multiply x, and 3 multiply 5. And the first two terms, you got x outside the bracket, x plus 5 is inside bracket. And the next one, you got 3 outside, x plus 5, and x plus 5 is a common factor. You got x plus 5 multiply x plus 3 equal to 0. So, factorizing form, we done, and we solve this by square bracket. The first line is x plus 5, and the second line is x plus 3 equal to 0. So, single, single bracket, we have and then you got two solutions x equal to negative 5 and x equal to negative 3 the same thing for question 3 you got 7 x x 7 multiply 2 multiply x plus x plus 2 equal to 0 so the common factor 7 x 7 x you got 7 x outside Inside bracket, you got x plus 2. The other side, you got x plus 2 equal to 0. So, x plus 2 inside the bracket, outside bracket, you have nothing, or you can write down here is 1 multiply x plus 2. So, x plus 2 is common factor. You can put it outside the single bracket. The second bracket, you got 7x plus 1 left equal to 0. So x plus 2 will be equal to 0 here and the next one you got 7x plus 1 equal to 0. So for here you got x equal to negative 2. For this one x equal to negative 1 over 7. Yeah, we done. And for you got x outside the bracket. You have inside the bracket here is x negative 5. And the next two terms, you got 4 outside x negative 5. We got 20 equal to 4 multiply 5. I take 4 outside. After this step, you got the x plus x negative 5 is a common factor. So x plus 4 is the second bracket. We have the factorizing form and you put x single bracket equal together, uh, equal to 0. Sorry. And here you got x equal to 5, and this one x equal to negative 5. Question 5 2x squared plus 3x plus 4x plus 6. Okay, 2x squared unchanged 
three eight. Four eight, I will change four equal to two multiply two multiply eight, and here is two multiply three. So you got eight is a common factor. Take eight outside, two eight plus three. And for this one, I'm got two is common factor. So I take two outside. Inside bracket, you got two eight plus three left. So two eight plus three is common factor. And the second bracket, eight plus two equal to zero. So two eight plus three equal to zero, and eight plus two equal to zero. Eight equal to negative three over two, and here eight equal to negative two. Yeah, we done. For this question, you got eight multiply eight. 8h, 3s, and 24. Yeah, 3 multiply 8. H, H minus 8h, so h is common. h minus 8. Take 3 outside for this one, and h negative 8 here. After this step, you got h minus 8 and h plus 3 equal to 0. H negative H equal to zero and H plus three equal to zero. The first single bracket will tell you H equal to eight and the second H equal to negative three. Yeah. Question seven. Two term you got H is a common factor. You got ten H plus three left. And how about twenty H and three uh, and six? I will take um, 2 outside. When I take 2 outside, we got 10 x plus 3 because 6 equal to 2 multiplied 3 equal to 0. So 10 x plus 3 multiply x plus 2 equal to 0. The Factorizing form we have, and then I solve it by put h brackets equal to zero. H plus two equal to zero here, and h equal to negative three divided by ten, or h equal to negative two. Okay, so the last question for this video, question eight, x square for x negative two x negative eight. So how can you do this? H multiply H, 4 X, negative 2 multiply H, how about negative 8? I will separate negative 8 become to negative 2 multiply 4. So, okay, the first two terms, very easy, I'm take H outside, you got H plus 4 inside the bracket. And the next two terms, you got negative X is common factor. It's not 2 is common factor, it have to be negative 2 is a common factor. So I take negative 2 outside. The left will be 8 and 4. So what is the sign here? Plus or minus? It is plus. It, why? Because negative x equal to negative 2 multiply plus 4. Negative 2 multiply positive 4. So when I take negative 2 outside the bracket, the left you have plus 4 or positive 4. So that's why you got x plus 4 inside the bracket here. So after this step, you got x plus 4 is a common factor. And the second bracket, you got x negative 2. Equal e 0, equal to 0. So we put it into the square bracket. x plus 4 equal to 0. And x equal negative 2 here. So x equal to negative 4 and x equal to 2 yeah we done so they did the two solution for this equation okay so in my opinion question 8 is the hardest question in this video i hope you can understand totally at this question thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching my video and see you in next video bye bye